Weather Watchers, last night was another night to put in the record books. In a matter of seconds, we went from an intense hailstorm to utter calm. And not just here on the Central Coast, but all around the world, nature has gone quiet. And many people are asking, why? Because Mother Nature is dead, that's why. My grandma's dead. Oscar, I don't have time to... Okay, yeah. I miss her, too. Someone's at the door. Okay, okay. Felix, I told you oh, you didn't have to. Chloe. Sweetheart, you look awful. Mother? Don't mother me. Where does she keep the... Aha. Uh -huh. Mom, champagne? Grandma is dead. I thought I was going to die too. The flight was so turbulent my stomach was in my chest the whole time. And don't get me started on the driver. He said he knew you? Ismail drove you here? Wait, it's like 5 a.m. It's almost lunchtime in Cleveland. No, it's, it's not. Mom, you shouldn't be here. Imagine getting ready for a date with what's-his-name and receiving a call from someone named Chloe's friend, Felix. He... he called you? This is a nightmare. You have no idea. Your grandma was in that secret office of hers, wasn't she? Doing who knows what in there? No, she... she said something like, death is as natural as the rain. And then oh, she... Oh, that sounds like her, with her weird sayings. Probably came from that big, ugly book of hers. You know about the book? She loved that book more than she loved me. She was always hiding it from me. You didn't know her. You don't know anything about her. My little Chloe worm. I know this is hard on you. What a birthday, am I right? You finally remembered my birthday. I was going to call. But then this thing happened at work and... How about I take you out for dinner tonight, hmm? Mom, I... But right now, I just need some sleep. And a little more of this. What about Grandma's... I'll deal with the funeral arrangements when I have a clear head. Come here, give your mom a hug. What is that? Is that her key pendant around your neck? Yes. Grandma wanted me to have it. Okay. You don't need to grab it away. I just want to look. She always wore that thing, day and night. And I will too. Why don't you just get some sleep, Mom? It's going to be all right, Chloe. Your mom's here. Do me a favor. I left my bags outside. Sure. Bags. What else do I have to do besides, you know, not destroy the world? Where did all the waves go, Daddy? And I don't even hear birds. Hmm. Good observation, Ray. <laughs> You're meant for this. For what? To be a weather person like you? What are we doing at the beach? You know, most people look out at the ocean and they think about how beautiful it is. It brings them a sense of calm, right? <laughs> oh, nothing calm about the ocean, sweetheart. Do you know how many ships have been wrecked at sea? How many homes destroyed by storm surges and tidal waves? Why are you telling me this? Because the ocean is about power, Ray. All of nature is about Power. Power to give life and to take it away, to control the weather and the seasons. Power man has never been able to harness. Is something wrong, Daddy? No, no. Something is very right, my Rayo sunshine. Remember I told you about the miracle I witnessed in the storm when I was a boy? The woman who saved you. I tracked her for so many years. I was convinced she lived here in Moro Bay, but I couldn't pin her down. So I created my weather technology as a way to bring her out into the open. I knew if I kept increasing the energy, more storms, more chaos, that she, she would either rise to the occasion or she'd fall. Who is she? Do you remember that picture book we used to read together when you were little? Your favorite? The story of Mother Nature. Are you saying... Are you saying she's real? She was. 
<laughs> Let's look through the obituaries together, shall we? Graham and I were supposed to do this together, Oscar. Yeah, five years of training. More like five minutes. I don't know what to do. Oscar, what are you doing? Stop scratching at that wall. The Book of Nature. The key. Got it. was supposed to present this to me at the ceremony on the beach. Grandma, I can't believe you left. How am I going to learn this all on my own? It's so quiet here in the garden, Oscar. Where are all the hummingbirds and the bees? They're mourning her too, huh? You okay? Felix. Your mom made it out okay? I didn't ask you to call her, you know. I know, but you needed somebody. I need my grandmother. Yeah. What's with that book? It... It's called the Book of Nature. It belonged to her. Now I guess it's mine. It's a big book. Old, huh? Felix, I kind of need to be alone right now. You sure? Because you look like you haven't gotten any sleep at all. If you want to talk... I don't want to talk. Okay. If you change your mind, again... You know where to find me. Okay. Book of Nature, page one. The mourning period. When a mother nature passes away, nature goes into mourning. For 36 hours, everything stops. There are no storms, no volcanoes, no earthquakes. It's perfect calm all over the world until the new mother nature officially steps in and chaos resumes. The 36 hour grace period should be spent. Should be spent. <sighs> spent preparing. Chloe? Chloe? Grandma? Grandma, is it you? Who else would it be, dear? I miss you so much. No time for that sentimentality, Chloe. You have a job to do. But we were supposed to start training. I had five years before I was going to be Mother Nature. And now you have one day. Funny how life works. But I'm not ready. Of course you aren't. You're on page one. But how can I... Oh dear. Oh dear. Something isn't right. Something is changing the weather. What? What is it? Is this what your grandmother Fern warned me about? Oh, no. Now I see what I've done. I tried to hide, but I was being pushed. I wasn't strong enough. For what? What pushed you? Are you saying someone caused your death? I believe in you, Chloe. You are strong enough. I believe in you. Grandma? Grandma? Grandma! Chloe! Chloe! Grandma? No, it's your mother. What? I... I fell asleep. You did more than fall asleep. You've been asleep all day. You dropped off reading your grandmother's dusty old book. All day? How long was I sleeping? 24 hours or so. Now, now go upstairs and get dressed. The memorial service starts soon. What? I slept the whole day away? Why didn't you wake me? You seemed tired. And I had a lot to get done. Which is why I'm rewarding myself with a drink. But the time, it's been 34 hours and 26 minutes since, since Grandma. You're tracking the minutes? I, I have to, because when it hits 36 hours, we'll be at the memorial service. Now? It's today? But I can't. Not right now. I ordered the flowers. I rented a microphone. There's no changing the time. But why so soon? Can't we wait? For what? We need closure, Chloe. On everything. We'll say goodbye to your grandma, and we can start packing up the house and moving on with our lives. Packing up the house? I can't leave here. There's no reason to stay anymore. 
I want to put the house on the market as soon as possible. You can't do that! I understand this is all very upsetting, but Chloe, a property like this in California? We need the money, and I'm not living in a house that I grew up in. Too many hurtful memories. You can't do this! This house is too important! Listen to me, Mom! Oh, that's the florist. I've got to take it. Hurry up and get ready, Chloe, and call us a car. <coughs> Whoa! What is that, a raccoon? A possum. No. Get away! Get away! Hello, this is Laurel. Siri, set an alarm for two hours. Two hours until the end of the calm. Chloe, the car is here. We can't be late for the funeral. You're the driver who picked me up from the airport. I am, Miss Lovejoy. I called Ismail to drive us to the funeral. Hello, Chloe. Uh, hi. Um, my grandmother, she, um... Oh, Chloe. I'm so sorry. Okay, we need to get going. Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Chloe. Are you alright? I don't know what to do. No one ever does. No, you don't understand. I... Chloe, come on. Time is slipping away. Don't I know it. Coming. Is this it, Mom? A few random neighbors? These are the only people here to say goodbye to Grandma? You were expecting a crowd? The woman didn't exactly have a big friend circle. She was busy. She didn't have time for- Of course. Always busy. I'm just saying, it's kind of sad. If people knew- Knew what, Chloe? Knew that she was a great person. Right, Chloe? Ah, you must be Felix, Chloe's friend. You must be Chloe's mom. You look just like her. Hmm, I'm glad you're here. Help Chloe with her speech. I need to go fix the flowers. You're making a speech? I have no idea what I'm going to say. So, this is where we were when... When the storm went quiet. Listen, Chloe. Believe what you want to believe. I never should have said... Oh no. Seriously? Why would she come to my grandmother's memorial? She's coming over. Be nice. Hello, Chloe. Ray, what are you doing here? We came to pay our respects. Daddy, this is Chloe, Ivy's granddaughter. Well, hello there. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chloe. And Chloe, this is my dad, Duncan Sunshine. I recognize you from television. How did you know my grandmother? Um, we met only once, but I was a great admirer of hers. You were an admirer of my grandmother? How did you know her? I've lived in this town many years. You get to know people. She never mentioned that she knew you. Everybody knows Duncan Sunshine. <laughs> Ray is proud of her dad. Uh, is that your mother over there by the flowers? Yeah. She's fetching. She's what? Fetching. Dad. It means captivating. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Uh. Here she comes. Oh, speak of the devil. Or should I say, angel. Chloe, aren't you going to introduce me? Mom, this is... Miss Lovejoy. My condolences on the loss of your beloved mother. I'm Duncan Sunshine. Our daughters are classmates. <laughs> Laurel, please. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. What a long, beautiful life your mother lived. Yes, well... Clearly you take after her. Oh, I don't know about that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Sunshine sweet on your mom? I'm jumping into the ocean. Don't try to stop me. Uh, I'm really sorry for your loss, nice Chloe. You too, what? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just waiting for you to say something awful. In times of sorrow, I would never jest. <sighs> Death can be such a unifier. And what a perfect day, weather-wise. Like nature smiled on your grandmother. <clears throat> Time to start the ceremony, Chloe. We'll see you ladies after. I'd like that. Come, Chloe. I still don't understand. Why are we at Zoo Lady's funeral? She was special, Ray. She saved you in a storm, I get it. No, no. She was the storm. What? 
You know how I always finish my reports by saying, it's Mother Nature's world, we're just paying rent. Yeah, I love that catchphrase. Well, who do you think we were paying rent to? <gasps> Sue Lady? Was Mother Nature? But, uh... Th thank you all for being here today. Um, my relationship with my mom was complicated. Why would she say that? Maybe she's nervous. She was never there for me. Like, really nervous? Ivy was not like other mothers. She didn't come to my school plays or drive carpool. She was just the weird lady in the garden. Mom! I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I have a very hard time not being honest. I loved my mother, and she loved this town and her granddaughter. She'll be missed. Chloe. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Mom, for that stirring speech. Hi, I'm Chloe Lovejoy, Ivy's granddaughter. I just want to say that, um, I just want to say that I didn't know my grandma too well growing up. Um, and when I got here, I realized she was known as many things that, that maybe weren't that nice. Quirky, unique, zoo lady. But um, to me, she was grandma, the most warm, loving person I've ever met. I'm so lucky that I was her granddaughter and got to spend some time with her since I moved here. She was supposed to be here for a lot longer. She was supposed to be here with me, to help me, to teach me. And now that she's gone, I don't know. I don't know how I'm... I mean, I'm only 13, and I... Chloe, turn that off. The alarm! I said shut it off. 36 hours. Chloe, are you okay? Um, everything's still quiet. What are you talking about? Can you shut that alarm off? Huh? The grace period is over, but, but, but nature is still quiet. What is that noise? Daddy, look, the ocean. The water, it's pulling back. Stand up, Ray. What is it? No, no, it's starting. Chloe, what is it? The calm period is over. <gasps> is that, is that a wave? It's huge. Right away. Everybody, run. 